Hi, it's Dr. Weiner, and I want to talk to you about needles versus cannulas, and there's a lot of controversy, and I'm going to try to put that to rest. Back in 2016, Dr. Yanni Van Logum, who I highly recommend going training with, wrote a paper, and I just want to kind of reevaluate that paper because it, it made some very important points. It basically said that when you inject with a needle, it doesn't stay in the same plane as you think it is. And I proved that when I did it in Dr. Surik's lab earlier this summer. So what I did is I took filler and I injected onto the periosteum with a needle. And when I did that, I saw that the filler actually came out of the plane of the superperiosteal plane and surrounded a vessel, which is exactly what you don't want. You want it to stay in the intended plane. But when I injected with a cannula, which was up here, you saw it created a plane of filler and it stayed within that plane. So that proves that using cannulas is more accurate than using a needle. I'm going to take that one step further here and show you that actually, this is also from Dr. Yanni Van Logum's paper, that actually when you think that needles are safe and you aspirate, you actually aren't. Because what you can do is you can pinch down the vessel and if you aspirate, there's going to be no flow. But you can actually inject within a vessel with a negative aspiration when you're on the periosteum. So needles on the periosteum aren't necessarily safe. And one other thing. So this is an explanation using uh, a diagram of what I just explained to you. When you inject with a needle onto the periosteum, the filler flows backwards out of the plane that you wanted it to stay in. But when you use a cannula, the filler stays in the plane when you're injecting, so it's more accurate than when you use needles. So I want to thank Dr. Yanni Van Logum for writing this paper, and Dr. Catafana also repeated it just recently, saying that needles weren't as accurate as cannulas because of this phenomenon.